Otoplasty is uh, a fancy term for ear reshaping. So patients who desire otoplasty have some external abnormality with their ear that they're not satisfied with. The most common indication for otoplasty is a patient who has something called prominosia. Prominosia is the medical term for ears that are prominent. Their ears are actually of a normal size. However, the ear angle that's produced from the ear and the scalp is too large, and so the ears are more prominent or they actually stick out. Procedures are performed most commonly at our Joint Commission accredited facility. They're done under MAC or sedation anesthesia, and typical duration of procedures is roughly between an hour and a half and two hours. Patients who have otoplasty procedures are generally bandaged for one to two days. They are expected to perform all of their normal activity with the exception of strenuous physical activity such as exercising or heavy lifting for approximately 10 days to two weeks. Results from an otoplasty could be essentially life-changing. We've seen patients that are extremely insecure about their ears. We've had patients that have never put their hair up in their entire lives because they're insecure about their ears. And now all of a sudden, no one's ever seeing them with their hair down. So it could really be emotionally extremely impactful for our satisfied patients. I think one thing I've learned in my otoplasty experience from doing you know, thousands of these procedures is that it's never too late to do an otoplasty. And so we have to come up with a treatment plan that accommodates that person's specific anatomy and produces the optimal outcome for that particular patient.